This is why I built my all-sky camera. Everything I see about all-sky cameras is related to how to build them and the things they've captured. I'm guilty of this too, but a question I don't often hear is why? Why take the time and effort? The answer could be obvious to some, but I'm sure it's a different answer for everyone. Throughout my years in this hobby, I've always had to look forward to capturing my images. I always had to plan ahead of time to capture something I knew was coming. I built an all-sky camera to capture the things I wasn't expecting, to capture the things I didn't know would be happening, and most of all to capture the things you can't feasibly plan for. What I wasn't expecting was to be able to truly capture the passage of time, to capture and visualize the things you can't capture in a single night, or even over the span of several with careful planning. While it's a well-known fact of our universe that nothing is static and everything we understand can only relate to our point of view, it takes a long time for us to actually notice any changes. Thanks to my camera, I'm able to actually present this in an easily viewable and understandable way. These time lapses are only about 10 to 12 seconds long, but they encompass over a year's worth of efforts. I threw out every frame that had clouds in it, and each frame is from a single day. To do this, I took a frame at a rate of one sidereal day per day, which is actually more like 23 hours 56 minutes rather than 24. What this does is lock our point of view to a certain point in space, not bound by the rotation of the Earth. The side effect of this is being able to watch our own orbit around the Sun. The only way I've ever seen anything like this is from simulations. Today, I want to show you the motion of our solar system, of Earth orbiting the Sun and all the planets too. I hope you enjoy and that you can take away something for yourself by seeing this unique perspective. And if you found this interesting, please throw me a like. Thank you.